Fluctuations of the Communicative Interaction Fluctuations are understood as actions, dynamic and unstable, which stimulate the system from the inside out. They lead it to oscillate, creating random shapes of regulated transformations by the organization which determines it as a system. The fluctuation of the communicative interaction is an interaction of the system which enables the formation of an oscillation, presence of the movement, mobility of significance in various directions for the subjects, and those generated relationships. The fluctuations and perturbances of the communicative interaction build the Tejido de Bulse web coil, Communication Language Society. In the system of communicative interactions, there exist perturbances as well as fluctuations. In a process of internal, external, constant dynamics, a serious strain is put on the system enabling their existence. The system is open to information but closed in its operations, while it is the system's organization which determines the changes that are generated from external perturbances and internal fluctuations. These perturbances generate at the same time fluctuations in the inner part of the system generating once again more in the environment. The process of affectation is constant and creates new fluctuations and disturbances in a communicative unit of superior emergence formed by it and the environment as a system, which the unit's systems of the environment. In complex communication, once we define our set of references, we are able to establish an analysis sample which will allow us to apprehend new relationships communicative reasoning, and interactions on the network to reread the system in which we move and self-observe. That entails understanding and in intervening on social environments where we are co-participants as well as responsible. Among them, family, our neighborhood, university, city, and also understanding them as communicative interaction networks. Networks. In neural science, networks are webs of neurons, neural networks, connecting several parts of the brain among themselves. These interactions and connections allow the cerebral dynamics to work. The description of this operation has worked as a metaphor to appoint interconnection processes which allow to build artificial systems of intelligence. Also in the social processes, networks are mentioned as interactions. Networks are built by connections and interactions, in other words, by emerging relationships through actions. Actions by themselves do not create the web. It is possible to say that it is the maternity of existence. The interactions are originally what allow networks to be defined as the logic they build in their constitution. It is their existence and the interaction and the possibility to formalize them that show their specificity as a web for social re-identification. However, the fact that they interact does not determine their actions because the social clusters, crowds, individuals, meetings, groups, in other words, any social relationship is conformed and set up by communicative relationships, libidinal discursive ties established with the others. That is to say, any social interaction forms a network. But then what defines a network? The social systems are set as actions of social actors and the representations, formalizations, of the subject who participate in the process as observers. There's no social process which is not set up as interaction. Networks are nothing but interactions. They are networks because we can set them up as such. Therefore, to define the concept of networks based on the interaction, it is to define it based on a universal shared characteristic with other concepts. As a result, several authors in certain contexts use the term as a synonym of groups or masses. From a perspective that includes the observation of group processes, which enables the onset of processes of complex communication, this generates social dynamics that are completely different how it is understood, although they are complementary from the social web point of view.
Therefore, the concept of network is a metaphor to apprehend social processes. It starts when the second cybernetic is applied to the social systems, where the concept is used to highlight how information and communication processes not only had a vertical way to flow, but also horizontal. The former prioritizes the systematic dynamics, asymmetric, in a social way, as the state. And the latter implies a redistribution of the power in the new social relationships that were built. In social processes, networks are built from the flow of information that circulates through them and the interaction allowed by them, communication. Because they are stimulated, they generate a flow of entropy in social systems that adds disorder to the system. So, this is their chance for change. Also, they can generate perturbances, fluctuations, that promote the negentropy flow through them which turns into their opportunity to keep their organization, although it can also be an occasion for destruction.